Good morning and welcome to the Food and Meat Co-op. I am Laura, I am the owner of Rustic Scoop and we are super excited to be able to partner with the Food and Meat Co-op. They are now selling our mixes and so there is opportunity for you to be able to buy our mixes which we are super excited about and just wanted to let you know that today we are making our stuffing. We thought with Thanksgiving coming up it was a good idea for us to be able to show you how simple and easy it is to make our stuffing and right now you can purchase our bread mix. If you want to purchase it, just put sold 100 in the comment box and it will be sold to you and you'll be able to purchase it through the Food and Meat Co-op. And then um, we are also, they are also selling our cupcake mix. If you like to buy our cupcake mix, they're both in four packs. The cupcake mix in the comment box, you can just put sold 101. And then I will show you all of our mixes. They're selling a sampler of all of our mixes. We also have a pancake and waffle mix, and then we also have a pizza crust mix. Together, all four of them, one of each, is called the sampler. You can purchase those. If you would like to buy all of them in the sampler, you can just put in your um, comment box, sold 102, and you can buy it right there um, wherever you're at. So super easy. So today, um, I'm going to show you how to make our stuffing, which uses our bread mix super easy so I'm going to actually show you how to make our bread because we figured if it takes our bread mix to be able to make our stuffing I have to show you how to make our bread. So it is super easy. We get amazing reviews on our bread um, all the time. People buy this by the case. I suggest you do too. You can do that through the Food and Meat Co-op. Again if you want to buy it just type in the comment box uh, sold 100 that is for the bread mix. Your bread mix right now will come with this little packet. It's extra psyllium husk. We have a new um, sandwich bread recipe than what is on the back. And so you use this. The instructions come with your mix. And so you won't need to know anything else. But I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make our bread mix. Super easy. It will be done in five-ish minutes. So we're going to pull over here my stand mixer. I'm going to leave that on. Just go ahead and open your sandwich bread mix. If you are just now joining us, I am Laura with Rustic Scoop and we partner with the Food and Meat Co-op. They sell our um, mixes. Right now I'm showing you how to make stuffing for Thanksgiving. It's super easy. You can either make it ahead or make it the day of. I will show you how to do both. So right now we're making our bread. So you'll put your bread mix in your stand mixer. I have it fitted with a paddle attachment. You don't have to use a paddle attachment. It can also be used with a whisk attachment, but I like to use the paddle attachment. And then I have yeast here. This is dry active yeast. Um, typically you are going to put it in your water to make sure that it is alive and active. I know that mine works because I do it every day. And so I'm actually just gonna put it in here with my dry things. But if you're not sure if your yeast is alive and active, you want to put it in your water. This is warm water about 100 degrees, 110 is the hottest you want it or it will kill the yeast. And then you will put a sweetener. I use honey. If you're vegan, you're going to want to use either maple syrup or you can use cane sugar. And again, the instructions come with your bag to be able to do this. So you'll put them in here, the yeast and your sweetener, and you mix together and it will foam up. And that's how you know that your yeast is active. If it does not get foamy, it is not active and you're gonna to have to start over just on this process. But because I know mine is working, I am going to mix my yeast in here. Just testing my water to make sure it's not too hot. So if you can touch it and it's warm, it's perfect. If it's too hot and it burns you, it's too hot for the yeast as well. And if it barely feels warm at all, you're gonna want it a little bit warmer. So I'm gonna go ahead and this is two and a half cups of water. Add it in here to my bread mix. Just until it's barely combined. Again, if you're just now joining us, I am Laura with Rustic Scoop. We partner with the Food and Meat Co-op. We sell our mixes through them. Right now I am showing you how to make our sandwich bread mix, which if you would like to purchase through the Food and Meat Co-op, in the comment box, you just want to put sold 100. That allows you to buy this right now. 
And so when you mix in the water, you just barely want to mix it. It's going to look sloppy. Don't worry, it's going to thicken up. We are going to put in our extra psyllium husk that comes in your bag, and then we're going to mix again. This should have gone in your dry stuff. I just forgot to do it, but it's okay here too. So we're going to mix again. And you always have a spatula to scrape down anything. Next, we are going to put in egg whites. This is half a cup of egg whites. If you cannot do egg whites because you are egg free for any reason, vegan or allergy, you can also use aquafaba, which is the water from garbanzo bean, just a can. You take the water and dump it in. Um, and again, the instructions are on the paper that we give you with your order. Or you can use a powdered egg replacer as well. Both of them are going to not rise quite as much as an egg white, but they both are great. We've done them multiple times and they work. So whatever works for you will work for our bread as well. So there's our egg. And then oil that is light tasting. I do, uh, this is light tasting olive oil. You can also do avocado oil. You can do canola if that's what works for you as well. It's not picky, just light tasting so it doesn't um, overpower the flavor. So now, this is honey. Again, if you're just joining us, I'm showing you how to make stuffing for Thanksgiving. It's super easy and quick, but right now we're making our bread because that's what it takes to make our stuffing. So you're going to see how quick and easy this is. So you get your honey all down in there. Oh, I forgot some. Definitely want all of it. Okay. And then last but not least, it just takes a few added ingredients. You are going to put in two, ta or two teaspoons of white vinegar. You can also do apple cider vinegar if that's what works for you. We're just going to mix up for a moment until it's all combined. If you have questions, let us know. Feel free to type them in. I'm happy to answer any questions you may have about what we're doing, what we're making, how you do it, our company, whatever you want to know. Okay, so we're looking good over here. I'm going to spray. You definitely do want to make sure you absolutely spray your bread pan. If you do not, it will stick and it will be a mess. So make sure that you spray. The only thing that we know that does not work as a spray is avocado oil. For whatever reason, it does not work as a non-stick spray, so don't do that. But really anything else works. I am currently using an eight by five bread pan. You can also use a nine by four. It just depends what shape you want your bread. This is going to be a wider loaf, um, then it will be a little bit shorter. Nine by four is going to be a taller, skinnier loaf, but they both work super easy, amazingly well. See, you can see our bread mix is really thick. I actually roll this. I'm not going to roll it today, but you don't have to roll it to shape it, but you can put it out on a silk hat mat and roll it nicely. Um, so it is in a nice log. So when it rises, it rises really nice and round. But today, I'm just gonna show you how to do it by hand if you don't want to have to roll it. So again, if you have questions, let us know. Feel free to type them in the box. We'd love to answer whatever questions you have or comments. Again, um, we are making stuffing today. Right now, I'm just making our bread because that is what you use to make our stuffing. So you can make your bread weeks in advance. Um, I do it all the time we freeze our bread. And so it's easy if you make our bread. Let's see, we're just gonna plop it right on in here. And I'm just gonna make sure it's rounded here on top. But once you make our bread, you want to cut it, and I'm gonna show you how to cut it here in a minute when we actually make the stuffing. You wanna cut it and then freeze it cut because then when you go to take it apart, you just take a little knife and pull it apart nicely and easily. And if you have questions, I'm not seeing questions currently, but I can't see my screen very well. So, um, but we would love to answer questions. If you have questions, 
Again, if you want to buy our bread mix, just in the comment box, push, uh, type in sold 100. That is for our bread mix. So I'm going to show this to you. I just simply rounded. You can see it's nicely rounded on top because then it will give it a nice rise. It will rise nice and rounded up on top. So that's all you do. Literally a couple minutes and you will have bread. Now all it has to do is rise and then bake. So it's super easy, not much hands-on time, and then you can go about your business and do something else. So I'm gonna put this on my stove to rise. All right, so now we're gonna move on to stuffing. And don't forget, if you want to buy our cupcake mix, just in the comment box, you wanna put sold 101. That's how you purchase this in a four pack. Next month in December, I'm gonna be doing a live on how to make peppermint whoopie pies. You want to be there, don't miss it. They're super good, super easy, and it takes this mix. So you wanna go ahead and purchase this mix as well. Okay, let's see. So I have a whole set of things. I'm gonna try and put it so it's not right up in your face for our stuffing. I'm going to plug in my electric skillet so that I can show you how it's done. Okay, so you can do this in a pan on your stove or you can do this in an electric skillet. I'm doing it in an electric skillet because you couldn't see, my, see me if I was on my stove. So I'm just gonna heat that up while we are over here. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you are going to want to, oh, by the way, you will get the recipe. It will be posted for you. So it has all the instructions, all the ingredients, everything that you're going to need is right here. So the first thing that you want to do, whether you're going to prep this ahead the day before, or you're going to do it the day of, you're going to want to take your bread, which we just made. Remember, if you're just joining us, we just made our bread mix. It's super easy. And then I'll show you the inside of our bread. So it has a beautiful open crumb. It's very soft and tender. People eat it fresh out of the oven all the time. It is not like your traditional gluten-free bread that you're gonna buy at the store that's like cardboard and doesn't taste very good. This is amazing, tastes like normal bread. Um, we get great reviews. So if you wanna buy it, just put uh, sold 100 in the comment box and it's all yours in four pack. So I already made some this morning. That's why it's in half. But when you cut bread, you always want to cut bread upside down and you want to do that because if you cut it right side up it will um, crumble the, cr the crust on top we don't want to do that so the bottom is a little bit crispier and so we cut from the bottom so to make our stuffing whether you're going to make it ahead or you're going to make it um, day of you're going to cut i don't know what is it like maybe not quite half an inch thick slices it's up to you really how thick you want your slices again if you have questions please ask questions we are happy to answer whatever questions you may have we're making stuffing so you know how to make our stuffing for thanksgiving you will get the recipe it will be posted for you so i am cutting here really easy if you want them thinner go for it if you want them a little thicker that's fine too to each his own just here cutting bread so that we can cube it and if you are going to make a head we live in Utah and if you live in a dry climate the bread will dry out really fast because the climate is really dry so if you just want to dry it out you're gonna to want to do it the day before cut into cubes and then leave it on a sheet pan overnight just on parchment paper and it will dry itself out so that's if you want to prep ahead if you want to do the day of you're gonna cut and then you're gonna bake in the oven your cubes for about, I do it on convection, 375 uh, Fahrenheit on convection that bakes faster. If you have convection, if not regular bake will work as well. And you wanna do it probably about 15 minutes until the bread is just a golden brown, a little bit crisp. Again, 
again, if you're just joining us, I'm Laura with Rustic Scoop, and we partner with the Food and Meat Co-op. We're super excited to partner with them. We are showing you how to make stuffing for Thanksgiving, because with the holidays coming up, we thought it's important for you guys to know how to do it with our bread mix that you can buy through the Food and Meat Co-op. So you, again, the size is totally up to you. I do about bet like between, I don't know, about a half inch thick is about what I do for cuts. Again, it's to each of them. So you can see how big it is. And then you're gonna cut this whole stack. I'm not gonna cut the whole stack because it'll take a long time. But anyways, you wanna cube the whole entire thing. And then if you've let it dry overnight, then you can start it on the next, which we'll get to. If not, and you wanna bake, go ahead and bake your cubes now on 375 Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes or until they are golden brown. Now I'm going to move this so I can show you what's next. Again, if you have questions, let us know. Feel free to type them in. We're happy to help. Whether you have questions about our products or what we're doing or any other questions you may have, we are happy to help with anything you need. Okay, so we're gonna get into making stuffing. So your bread is either dried at this point or you've already baked it. Now we're gonna get into chopping and dicing. Sorry, should have had my knife ready. So I am going to slice and dice onion. I'm just making half of an, half the recipe right now because we do not have a big group of people coming over today. Um, so I'm just gonna do half, but the recipe calls for whole. It serves eight people. Go ahead and half or double or whatever you need to do for however many people you have coming um, for Thanksgiving or any celebration that you're gonna want stuffing for. It's easy to half or to double, whatever works for you. So the onion and celery are really for flavoring. And so you don't want to omit them. If you don't necessarily love them, then you can maybe not use quite so much. Um, but we suggest using it all because it's great for flavoring and stuffing has fresh ingredients. So. There's our onion, just chopping here. And we will have fresh stuffing here real soon. I'm gonna start to cry, sorry. Onions. Okay, so I have, um, this is six tablespoons butter because again, I'm cutting in half. I'm going to get my electric skillet here and I'm gonna put it in. Have so much stuff in front of me that I don't know that I can pull this over so you can see both, but I'll try. Oh, there, now you can see. Okay, so I'm gonna put my butter in here in my electric skillet. And then I'm gonna put my onions in here in the butter. It's gonna make them nice and soft and tender with that yummy buttery flavoring. I'm using a vegan butter. We are dairy free in our family as well. So you can use whatever butter works for you and your family, whether regular traditional butter or vegan or anything else works for you. Um, go ahead. I poured my spatula go. Okay. So you wanna leave that in here while you are chopping the rest of your ingredients. Next, I'm going to chop celery. Again, as much as floats your boat, but we think that the amount that we have listed is perfect if you like onions and celery. Sorry, my eyes are watering from the onions so bad this morning. I'm not crying, I promise. Okay, so we're gonna chop the celery in just little slices. So you can see they're not very thick maybe quarter of an inch thick. We're gonna throw them in here with our butter when we're done chopping. Again, super easy to make stuffing. That's what we're making currently. Thank you for joining us. If you're just now joining us, I am Laura with Rustic Scoop and we partner with the Food and Meat Co-op. 
We're very excited to partner with them. They sell our mixes, and right now we are using our bread mix uh, to make stuffing. And if you would like to purchase the bread mix, just in the comment section, put sold 100, and it's yours. It will come in a pack of four. Uh, next month, I will be doing a live using our chocolate cake and cupcake mix. And if you would like to buy that in a four pack right now, just put in the comment section, sold 101, and you will get a four pack of that. And then you can get one of all of our mixes. It's called the sampler. And to buy that, you just put in the comment box, sold 102, and they're yours. So we're super excited. The other two mixes that we have are pancake and waffle, if you missed that at the beginning, and a pizza crust mix. Sorry, man, my nose is still watering from the onions. Just one of those onions, I guess. Okay, so we have all of our celery and onions in here. You want to cook them until they are translucent. That's the way that you know they're cooked all the way through and nice and soft and tender so they don't have that strong bite to them. Okay, now we are going to cut our herbs and I didn't measure out salt, but it calls for salt. So I'm just going to salt over here. And then it calls for garlic. Our family can't do garlic. Um, and so I'm gonna do onion powder instead. You don't have to add onion powder, but we do to give it some extra flavor since we can't have garlic. And then fresh is always best if you can do fresh herbs. It's always best. When I went to the store the other day, they did not have very many fresh herbs, which was not good. Anyways, so I have some fresh here today and some jarred. So I have some jarred rosemary, and I'm going to chop it in really small bits. Personally, I like the flavor of rosemary, but I don't necessarily love that it tastes like eating pine needles. I don't know, is that terrible of <laughs> me to say? <laughs> so again, if they're crushed, they're not gonna like bounce everywhere because these are dry, so they would be nicer to cut. But you just want to chop them into really small pieces so you're not eating twigs. I don't know very many people that like it that way. So, again, I'm making a huge mess. Don't mind me. Now, so that's about a tablespoon because it normally calls for two tablespoons. Again, I'm cutting this recipe in half just because I don't have a large family to feed stuffing tonight. But I will say that when I made this the other day, my husband ate like a third of it. <laughs> so that's how good it is. And he's very picky. Um, next we have sage. Just gonna stir this in over here. It's smelling so lovely. If you're just now joining us, we are making stuffing. We're showing you how simple and easy it is to make our stuffing. So this is fresh sage. I was able to find that. And you're gonna want Two tablespoons, that's what the recipe calls for. I'm just gonna do a tablespoon. Again, how big or small you chop it is totally up to you. I like super fine. Um, so whatever works for you is totally fine. I'm just making really small cuts here. And I'm gonna do it this way too, because. I have kids and they're really picky about how big things are and how uh, the texture. So we cut things really small so that they won't complain about texture. <laughs> so if you like them bigger, go ahead and do bigger. And then you're gonna chop some parsley. I could not find parsley and I thought I had it in my cupboard and I don't. So you're gonna chop some parsley, sorry about that. Um, it's not really super picky, the recipe, what you throw in there. And then you're going to do some thyme. And I'm going to put in some dill because I like dill. And I couldn't find thyme in thyme. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to do a tablespoon of dill. Oh, it smells so good. 
If you're just now joining us, thank you for joining us. We are making stuffing. Just showing you how quick and easy it is to make our stuffing. If you have any questions, let us know. Happy to answer any questions you may have. Talking to myself is not always so fun. So I'm gonna put my fresh dill in here. You will get the recipe, it will be posted for you. It's really simple and easy and absolutely delicious. So when I was growing up, we only made stuffing in a turkey. And if I can be honest, I didn't like it because it was mushy and I don't like mushy texture. And so as an adult, I realized that you didn't have to cook stuffing in a turkey. If you want to stuff this in a turkey, you absolutely can stuff it in a turkey. Um, when we're done, you can just put it in, but I'm doing oven baked because I like it a little crispy and crunchy on the top. Um, and then realize that it was fantastic if you cook it, if you bake it. So whatever works for you totally works for us. So I am now just about done here. I'll show you what it looks like in just a second. I'm going to clear my cutting board and my knife. And in TV style, here are my nice baked uh, bread cubes. So you can see um, they're nice and golden brown. I did this in the oven. I did not put them out yesterday because I made the bread yesterday. So I didn't have time to do both. Um, but that's how you want them to be before you put them in um, your cooking dish. I'm gonna get my cooking dish ready. Again, I'm making half of the recipe and so I'm using a smaller dish. You're normally gonna use a nine by 13 uh, oven safe pan or dish, sorry. And then I'm gonna spray it because we don't want anything to stick to it. So I'm gonna spray it here real fast. And then I'm going to put my bread in my dish and the easiest way to do it I think I'll show you if you had put your bread on parchment paper and you baked it this is the easiest way I fold it up in half like that and then I use it up see super easy and simple and then we got it all in here I dropped a couple so this it just barely coats the bottom it's probably three layers deep or so. Um, our whole loaf is how much you'll need for the full recipe. And now that my onions and my celery are done with all of our herbs, they're all chopped up and in there, I'm going to turn this off. And then I am going to scoop all of this yummy buttery goodness here into my baking dish. We are almost done, so if you have questions, please let us know. Again, if you would like to purchase our bread mix, in the comment box, you just wanna put sold 100 and it is yours. And then if you wanna buy our chocolate cake and cupcake mix, you just wanna put sold 101. And if you wanna buy our sampler pack, which is one of each of our mixes, bread mix, chocolate cake and cupcake, pancake, waffle, and pizza crust, just put sold 102. And it is yours. They make it super easy for you to get our mixes. We're excited for you to try them. With holidays coming up, we have lots of things for you to have safe, delicious holidays. I think I forgot to tell you. All of our mixes are gluten-free. They are top nine allergen-free except coconut sugar in two of our mixes. Um, they all have a vegan option for them as well. So they're safe for most but let me tell you we really went out of our way to make our mixes so that everybody loves them they're not going to be something that you take um, to family or friends or events and people don't want to eat them people with and without food restrictions love our mixes um, and so we know that you can take all of our mixes with joy and excitement knowing that everybody's going to love them and not know that they're even free from anything so that was our goal in making our mixes. They're fantastic. They're easy to make. We try to make sure that they're easy for anybody, whether you're 
an avid baker or you don't bake at all, that you can make them, and that they, they're clean, they don't have preservatives or anything, all of our ingredients are organic and non-GMO, so they are fantastic. You can feel good about serving them to your family and all of your friends. So next, last, uh, last but not least, you're gonna put in, you can either do chicken stock or vegetable stock, and you don't necessarily need to use all of it. It depends, <clears throat> excuse me, how much you want liquid or how much you're gonna want softer on the bottom. So I don't, I like a crunchy top like we talked about. If you didn't catch the whole thing, this will be live on the app. And so you can go back and watch from the beginning. But I am, let's see. This is chicken stock, that's about good. So right now it is about half of the bread. That's about how full it is. And then to bake it, you are gonna cover it with foil for 30 to 35 minutes. Now I'm just gonna stick this in the oven really fast. when it is complete and done ah so good so it's nice and crunchy a little bit I think my husband said a little bit like a crouton on top and so it's nice and crispy and crunchy on the top and then it's nice and soft and tender on the bottom so if you are going to stuff in a bird at the point where we had mixed everything together that is when you are going to put it in the bird but if you're not gonna put it in a bird like we don't then you go ahead and put it in the oven. So whatever works for you totally works for us. And this is super delicious. My whole family was snacking on it the other day when I made it. It is that good. Um, so we're super excited for you to try it. If you have questions, let us know. If not, we are done for today. It was super short, about 30 minutes start to finish. That's with me talking um, to make the bread. Obviously you would have to rise it and bake it but then also to be able to prep your stuffing. So it really doesn't take long. It really should take you about five minutes hands-on to make our bread. Again, if you wanna buy our bread mix, just put sold 100 in the comment box. Um, and then to make the stuffing, it's really 10 or 15 minutes, depending how long it takes you to chop. Super easy, super fast. Again, you can prep the bread ahead of time if you'd like to do that the day before to make your Thanksgiving nice and easy. Other than that, that's it. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you have questions, let us know. We're still happy to answer questions after the fact. So uh, you can send us a DM or a PM, whichever works for you. And we're happy to answer questions. Thanks for joining us this morning. Have a good one.